Hi guys, Conkun here. Today I'm going to be showing you a few cool, cool mounts that I've gotten recently. The first one I just bought because my guild unlocked it in the guild vendor shop thing. So, yeah, it was about 1,000, 2,000 gold, I think, or something around there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it as a ground mount, but I mean, recently, I, yesterday, I worked my ass off for this mount that I think is really cool. The floating uh, red flying cloud. See, it's pretty cool. Looks epic, and yeah, it's a ground mount too. So it, when it's on the ground, it moves like that. When it's in the air, it moves like this with the trail behind it. So yeah, this one took me about an hour or two hours or something, more or less, somewhere in in that time zone to get because it requires you to do all the uh, lore walker things or whatever where you have to go inspect and view all the things to find out some weird history or something for Pandaria and then um, at the end when you're done with all of it it will get you uh, exalted reputation with the lore walkers and then you can buy this mount from their uh, what do you call it vendor there something out there that person who sells it you can also get a few other things but I mean I'll only do that later so what I wanted to discuss was um, so far my eye level is only 454 as dungeons are not dropping items for me well some of them they are but I mean it's either the same items over and over or Thing, I never find the same things over and over again. I mean, yeah, so I can't get any new items, and it's really frustrating because the raids are out, and you need to have an eye level of 64-63. And right now, all the items that you get from heroic uh, dungeons are only at 463, so that requires you to have each slot an item. So that's not easy to get. But I mean, I have quite a boost with my trinkets, which are from the Brewfest, which are eye level 47. And 470, damn. Um, yeah. So, yeah, as that. So, about my leveling my professions, I honestly, I kind of removed mining of my other character, my paladin, because he flies very fast, so I used him as mining, but I kinda got rid of it to get herbalism, so I could level my alchemy, which is not quite far since cataclysm, as you can see here, it's only 352 points, uh, so I can't really get gems or anything to work on my jewel crafting, so yeah, I'll have to take up my mining again with the paladin which flies fast because uh, the shaman flies really slow even though I have all the flight speeds it's just the thing about paladins they fly extremely fast so as you can see I'm going 451 percent speed my paladin goes 492 percent speed that's just annoying another cool thing is that all the mounts share account wide so well, basically, a faction-wide, because some of them are, like, designed for only the faction. So, basically, all my Horde characters should have 55 mounts, which is pretty cool. Um, I also got the Albino Drake the Albino Drake the other day for getting 50 mounts, so that was a cool achievement. The next one is the Bag O mounts, which is 100 mounts, but that might take a while, so maybe in the future. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, see you later. Bye.